You're watching WMAR 2 News. A member of the Baltimore City Council is calling for an increase in reward money for information related to violent crimes. I'm Christian Schaefer with your WMAR 2 News update. Baltimore City is on pace to surpass 300 murders for what would be the seventh year in a row, and police in Baltimore solved fewer than half of all those murders. Right now, Metro Crime Stoppers offers up to $4,000 for information that leads to an arrest and conviction. Baltimore City Councilman Yitzi Scheifler has proposed a bill that would increase that reward to $10,000. If the bill were to pass City Council, it would end up on the ballot where Baltimore City residents would vote on it in a citywide referendum. The search continues for two more suspects who try to steal an ATM in Baltimore County. Yesterday morning, just after midnight, the West Banco branch on York Road in Cockeysville, police say at least three men tried to rip the ATM out of a brick wall using an SUV. Officers did manage to catch one of the suspects shortly after the incident happened, but there's been several thefts of ATMs over the past few weeks in Baltimore County and Baltimore City. County police say the thieves did not get away with any money, but they did cause $65,000 in damage to that building. And October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Today, you can help victims of domestic violence. WMAR 2 News has once again teamed up with House of Ruth, Maryland for the Fill the House event. WMAR 2 News will be at the Wise Supermarkets in Towson until 6 o'clock this evening. You can drop off the donations there at the Towson Place Shopping Center. As always, they need things like diapers and wipes and baby formula, along with new blankets, comforters and pillows and new underwear for women and for children. You can also make a monetary donation by going to the website WMAR2news.com backslash build a house. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Happy Wednesday, everyone. On this Wednesday, we are tracking more sunshine out there for today. We do have that brief warm up intact. That's going to continue until the weekend where we will have that cool down. But the future cast not going to pick up on a whole lot as we go through the rest of the day as high pressure is in control. But as we head into your Thursday evening, that's when we'll see some scattered showers moving through the area. Not everybody going to get wet. And then by your Friday, we will have a few more clouds out there. This is what we have out the door today. Highs making it up to about 77. So we will be in the mid to upper 70s, a tick warmer as we go into your Thursday, and then we'll have another front that moves through, bringing more seasonal conditions on Saturday and a nice mix of sun and clouds with showers possible on Monday, Christian. Yeah, pretty nice fall forecast there, Lynette. Thanks very much. Stay with us online at WMAR2news.com all day long for updates on top stories and breaking news and for news weather on the go. You can download the WMAR2 News app from the App Store or just follow us on social media at WMAR2 News. Thanks for watching. I'm Christian Schaefer. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.